So Cerebrus code is what I think every provider needs to do. They need to have a monthly plan where we can bring any IDE, any AI coding assistant, and then get healthy limits for it. When I first saw this, I was incredibly excited. I immediately saw that there was 131K token context window, which unfortunately nerfs the model some, but they are very upfront about it, which I very much appreciated. The other thing I saw is the speeds of up to 2,000 tokens per second. I want to ask you something. When you see speeds of up to 2,000 tokens per second, what do you think you should get? Would you be happy with 1,000, 500, 200, 100, 50, 25? Like at what point is this true? So I have ran a bunch of tests in different applications hitting the API, and not once did I ever hit 2,000 tokens per second. And in fact, not once on any particularly long test did I even hit 500 tokens per second. So I do want to call that out that I have a problem with this claim. Now, is it fast? It is fast. It does a great job. There are times that I've actually clocked it at 40 to 50 tokens per second, though, to be totally honest. There are times it slows down. And that wasn't the only hiccup that I had with this model. When it first came out, I signed up for it the very, basically the very minute. Now, to be totally honest, I signed up for the $50 a month plan. Why? I'm already paying for a bunch of other providers. I really just wanted a entry into uh, Quinn 3 Coder that I could use and not have to pay API costs. I did know that it's FP8, so it is a quantized version of the model, so I knew there would be some degradation. And I actually wanted to test if it would actually still successfully call tool calls. And I could report very honestly to you that it does a great job of tool calling. But my very first experience, 41 minutes, two tasks, I hit the 7.5 million token limit for the day. I ended up talking with them on X, and I basically, at that exact moment, when I found out that that was the limit, I went and canceled it. So I had my canceling cancellation pending for the end of the month. But I come to find out they have actually increased the limit up to 24 million tokens per day. If you think about that 41 minutes that I ran it and you extrapolate that out, I could maybe get two and a half hours of work. That's a lot more reasonable at $50 a month. I can actually get some amount of reasonable usage on it. I had a problem and I still have a problem with a couple things. One, send up to a thousand messages per day. I think that's a little bit stretching it. That would be a very small number of tokens per, per message that you're actually sending up. And on top of it, they don't have any sort of prompt caching that I could see. There's nothing returned back from the API. The other thing I noticed is now they've actually sold out of the Cerebrus Code Max. So I wonder how many of those they offered, but they must have increased that limit as well to 120 million tokens per day, which is an amazing amount. So if you were using this model as your main coder, it would be substantially good. So let me just bring up Jan AI here for a second. And I wanna show you that I actually have this configured with Cerebrus. So here we go, there's Cerebrus, and I'm using my, my API key, Quinn 3 Coder 480B. This is a, a prompt that I ran, hitting that API, and I got 30 tokens per second. Let me show you another one. This is one that I ran, I find this one fascinating, because I was just kind of talking to it. These are all very short. It actually tried to do tool calls within Jan AI, which I thought was fascinating. But anyway, we look at like 200 tokens per second, Great, but these are small chunks of things. Now this one I ran specifically, you can see here the open router logo, and you can see it's probably hard to actually see, but I ran it to Quinn 3 Coder Nitro. I wanted to see what the fastest speed I could get on open router was. And it, it landed at 96 tokens per second. Now tell me a story about a bear, 228 tokens a second. This was on Cerebrus. Running it here, 93 tokens per second. This is a full functioning version of WebOS but nowhere near 2,000 tokens, nowhere near 1,000 tokens, nowhere near 500 tokens, not even on the small things. I do think that's very important to understand because when I first saw the 2,000 tokens per second, I'm like, oh man, I will, that's amazing. If I was getting this type of quality at let's say even 1,000 tokens per second or 500 tokens per second, I'm all in for that. So maybe they slowed down the API, maybe they're hitting some sort of demand Maybe they're just be, being a little bit embellishing a bit on the marketing side. So on top of that, what I wanted to do is I actually went to Open Router. But here, remember I did that Nitro test. It says 1,558 tokens per second. 
how is this true? Like, where in the world are we getting these numbers? Even when I'm running it, like on my evals, it's fast, but it isn't any faster than, say, like Horizon Beta or any of those. I just am very skeptical of these tokens per second uh, claims here. And again, I, I might just be missing something. It could be that I'm on the $50 a month plan and I'm limited, but it doesn't actually tell me that here. In fact, when I read the uh, blog post, there's nothing about this that says one plan gets faster than the other. So you really need to use your best judgment on if this is for you, as I kind of go into some of the examples that I've actually built with it. The first thing that I would say is there is a degradation of scoring on evals. It is less than 10%. I will show you that right now. So I'm trying a little bit of a different color. This is a really noisy chart. I got to figure out a better way to kind of break this up. But if we look at Rue code, Quinn 3 coder right here, you see this? And we follow out this green line all the way across. We can see 25,898. Now, if we run Rue code, I, I just shortened it to Q3C Cerebrus. And we run that all the way out over here, 23,780. So in this particular case, there was about an 8% difference in those models. And it's very consistently that. Is it a big difference? No, I mean, not really. If you think about it, in my mind, anything over like the 20,000 mark is incredibly usable. And I don't think a lot of people are going to tell the difference on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you start falling below the 20,000 mark, I would say down here, you're probably going to start feeling a little bit more gimped in, in my personal opinion. So it is still good. And if it was actually at 2000 tokens per second, I would say it's phenomenal. But there's a couple things. If it were running at 2000 tokens per second, using up 24 million tokens in a day would be lightning fast. You would do that so fast. So part of me wonders if they've slowed it down, increased the limits, to be able to kind of like move out the computer a little bit better, kind of handle this a little bit better, but at the same time, also make it where people don't burn all their tokens that quick. I honestly do not know the answer to that. The next thing I want to talk about is temperature. So if we pull up my Cerebrus test right here, and I just want to go into root code and show you how this configured. I'm using an OpenAI compatible endpoint. I just set the context window manually here to 131K. Quinn 3 coder 480B. And the most important thing is the temperature, 0.6. I've tested it at a lower temperature. This is a very basic test. I'm just going to show you uh, how bad it can be. So this is done with the zero temperature. If you do not overwrite it, basically say make a Flappy Bird game. Let's see what it makes. It makes this. Now, if we go and we make it a 0.6 temperature, this is what we get. Much better looking pipes. The bird actually looks like a bird. I'm apparently really bad at this game. Uh, I can't get through any. It's kind of dropping quite a bit. So you can kind of get that idea of the difference in quality that you get from just that temperature setting. It still functioned. The tool call still happened. So you might have personal preference on it. You might actually like a slightly lower temperature. You might like a slightly higher temperature. But it did actually work in RuCode in particular with tool calling at those particular temperatures. Let me show you what it does with the Alibaba endpoint. Same prompt, but at 0 0.6 temperature. This is what we get there. And I would say arguably substantially better. Again, you know, models are non-deterministic. If you were to run this 10 different times, you probably get 10 different versions of this, but substantially better uh, version from Alibaba. I will say the bird is kind of weird. It's got like the inverted beak, uh, but I actually seen this in a previous one too. So it's pretty clear to me there is a small like quality loss with the quantization that they've done here. And it's very clear to me that the throughput is being measured in some way that I do not understand. It makes me wonder if this is open router reporting this or if these providers report this themselves but there's gotta be something that I'm missing. And I'll just run a test here real quick to show you what I mean. So we are on Cerebrus, and maybe just to even show you how to actually configure this, I put my API key in there. I've got the Cerebrus.ai slash V1. These are the models that it actually found on that endpoint. 
if I hit a new chat here, selecting that one, and I'm just going to ask it to do something. I basically asked it to create a, a single HTML file making the best looking solar system possible. You see how it started out really fast. Uh, it's probably hard to see on the video, but we're hovering at 79, 76, 75 tokens per second. And I do trust this measurement decently. I've actually ran, you know, quite a few measurements through this and you can kind of feel it too. It's not running at 2000 tokens per second. It's running at 59, 58, and it's slowing down. So I'm not here to go and hype anything up. I want to be real with you guys. And my personal opinion is when someone tells me that I can send a thousand messages and I burn it out in 41 minutes. And when someone tells me that I can get up to 2000 tokens per second and I never any, get anywhere near that, but it, and then behind the scenes, they increase the limit from the 7.5 million to the 24 million that it's at now without even telling me about it. I've messaged them directly on X about it. And they never said, oh, we've actually increased that now. So I'm worried that that's going to change. I do love this direction, but I've lost a lot of faith in what this company's saying to me. And I hate saying that because I love Quinn 3 Coder. They've got a great product. It is not anywhere near 2000 tokens per second. As you can see here in Rue Code, it feels very much the same way. It can be fast and snappy for a little bit, but then it slows to like normal speeds. Bottom line, amazing idea, pretty good implementation. Like it's a solid model with small degradation over what the full precision one. But at the end of the day, you kind of got to make your best judgment on it. And if you want to get the value out of the $50 a month plan, I think you can with the token limit that they have here currently. Will that be there tomorrow? I don't know. Are you going to get 2000 tokens per second? No unless something is happening with my setup that causes me not to get 2000 tokens per second and everyone else to get it. I am worried that people are buying into these big numbers about getting 2000 tokens per second. And is anyone actually getting that anymore? Was that like a day one thing and that's completely changed? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you subscribed to this? If you have, what speeds are you getting? Are you running into any issues with tool calling? Like I want as much data as I can about this model because it's put me in a really fascinating place where I love this. I've been talking about someone providing a plan like this for a very long time. I'm just not a fan of how they've rolled this out from me hitting my limits in 41 minutes without even being able to get a single task done in an existing code base to now when I start deep diving into like what they're promising, starting to get skeptical about everything. So I think that's going to wrap it up. Excited, disappointed. I don't know. I'm somewhere in between, to be honest with you. But regardless, we need more providers to do this type of thing. And I think it's going to happen. Till next time, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out.